Always confident, uh, it was an abeyance for time, always confident it would get done at the end of the deal that. Uh, well, I've never really been a part of this on the on this end of it, so you never know. Um, you know, sometimes trades are done easy. We we spoke with Geelong, and also um, GWS throughout. You know, the trade period now were quite easy to deal with, so that you know that, that was quite smooth, and this one was a little bit harder. And the uh, young man himself, he must be relieved. He's coming back uh, back to Queensland and yeah. to be with his family and uh, where he wants to be. Yeah, he's pumped. You know, to be around his family, and you know, he wants to. Um, you know, he wants to have a family of his own and, and do all those sorts of things. So he's uh, he's really excited. He's over in the states at this point in time, so I'm um, taking his break. But he's and also the ability to play with his brother as well. Um, I think he's excited to do that as well. Be late night over the states, is it? Because he's been told the news. Just had a steak, uh, having a celebration with a steak. He said, so um, I'm sure he might have a couple more beer, beers as well now that it's all over. All right, he's an elite player. He's, he gets the ball. He does plenty with it, and, he, and he's tough inside. He's, he's, he's as Rodney Eads said, he's an elite midfielder, probably in the top 15 players in the league. You, you view that as well? Yeah, we, we see Dane as an elite midfielder, a bit like Alan Christensen as well. Um, we sort of bring two players in that can bolster our midfield. We were very conscious this year. We had an extremely young midfield um, this year, and, and every game we're going in sort of 50, 60 games down per player through the midfield, um, just in experience. So you know, these two signings will really help bolster that. What a difference a year makes last year to go home five, and this year you picked up two really star midfielders that want to come mm. to Brisbane and are really happy to be here. It's, it's funny how things can change. Brisbane is, a, is a, an appetising place. Oh, yeah, well, look, look it, it's exciting for our football club and our fans, more importantly, that we get two gun players in, and you know, we're, we're, we're building. Um, the state of our list is in good shape. It's a, it's a young list still, but it's, uh, the quality is high. Um, we've got some really good players um, to fill those positions. So, yeah, so it's an exciting time for the Lions. You're a fan of the Lions of the next seven or eight years, we've got a, a, a pretty good list that's going to be competitive. And it transcends uh, off-field as well. I mean, the memberships and support and sponsorships, that, that feel-good feeling is, is pervasive, doesn't it? It flows through. Well, let's hope so. Um, that's the bit that has to happen next. You know, we have to fill the Gabba, um, start winning more games at the Gabba, fill the Gabba and, uh, and build our cauldron again. Just on Alan Christensen, he probably squeeze out of the uh, July midfield because uh, there's so many players he can play down there. But he... Up forward, he's a, he's a live way, he can kick goals and uh, he, he knows where the sticks are. That's a, an added advantage. But you see Alan more so playing more midfield, I think? He'll do both. The one thing with um, you know Alan, what he brings is a lot of flexibility. He's a midfield and half forward, so a bit similar to Dane Zorko. So we're able to get some flexibility through our midfield group. So it makes us difficult to play against. Um, so yeah, he's uh, he's an exciting prospect for us. And the academy boys that have uh, well, you've used your early selections on them. You've lost 21, lost Joel Patfield, but you've only got one live pick in the draft left of 67. I suppose the 12 months that the recruiting team have done. I suppose they're uh, they've got. Got a sort of nail it, don't they? With pick 67, yeah. as we know, got a lot of gems can be hidden uh, deep down. Yeah, look, we only got to go into the live draft with one pick, but as everyone knows, we've had three picks already. And our academy boys, which I've spoken to some clubs, some had Liam Dawson in, you know, around 15, 16 in the draft, and we got him for pick 41. And Harris Andrews the same, around in the, the pick in the 20s, and we got him for a pick in the 60s. So we've got some really good bargain value out of the draft this year as well. So. We've got young Scotty Clayton, a father son, um, you know, in in the uh, in our last pick in the draft. So, um, yeah, exciting times for a footy club. And just finally on Dane himself, how do you how do you sum up his sort of what's he, what's he gonna, what he is going to bring to the young club? Dane Beams, what he's going to bring to us? Bring. Well, he's going to bring experience. Um, he's a class act, and he's a star midfielder. So. He's going to bring a lot of excitement. He's going to bring about another 70 tattoos to our organisation as well, so uh, which is really good. <laughs>